This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which of the following is between one half and five over two? So one half is the same as 0.5. We might have to use that in a few minutes to solve this one. What about five over two? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is convert five over two to a mixed number to make it easier to understand. And to do that, we actually use long division. Notably, we read this as five, divided by two, two goes into five, two times without going over, two times two is four, five minus four is one. So our mixed number is gonna be, two is gonna be our whole number, uh, this remainder of one is gonna be our numerator, and this two is gonna be our denominator. So five over two, in other words, is the same thing as two and a half. So we're trying to find the fraction that is in between one half or 0.5 and five over two or two and a half. Right away, you should know that Two and two thirds is the same thing as 2.66. Again, two and a half is the same thing as 2.5. Uh, so this one is too big. Uh, what about four over 11? Uh, is that between one half and five over two? Well, we can quickly convert uh, four over 11 to decimal by doing long division. Again, we, re we could read this as four divided by 11 uh, 11 does not go into four, so we have to add a decimal and a zero placeholder, bring up our decimal. Again, 11 did not go into four, so put a zero here if you'd like. How many times does 11 go into 40? Well, 11 times three is gonna be 33. 11 times four is gonna be 44, so this has to be three times. So we know that four over 11 is 0.3 something. 0.3 something is too small, so this is not between uh, one half and five over two. Uh, what about one and one half? Well, one and one half is the same thing as 1.5. And as you can see, uh, this does fall in between these two numbers. So the correct answer to this one is C. Let's quickly check D in case these weren't in this order. Again, we can convert this to a mixed number via long division, 14 divided by four, four goes into 14, uh, three times without going over, given that four times three is 12. 14 minus 12 is two. Again, we have enough to write our mixed number. This is three, this two is gonna be our numerator, and this four is gonna be our denominator. This is three and a half. Three and a half is too big, so it's not between one half and five over two. All right, so that is that one. You have to be comfortable converting fractions to decimals as I did in this video as well as converting improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. And this question was an example of all of that.